The Voices of Kentuckiana, hosted by Debbie Crawford. Music by Clay Beverly. Produced by Lynn King. Hello, this is Debbie Crawford with the Voices of Kentucky Anna, and we are here with a stylish voice, and that's Mary Beth Boone at Blush on Main, and her and Rodney Nay are putting together something that's really unique. I think you all are going to love this. Now, what is that, Mary Beth? We are putting together a venue that's called Advanced Styles, and it's set for April the 16th. And what is Advanced Styles? There's a, there's a unique story behind all this. Advanced Styles is about a New York photographer that set out to capture women um, that were seasoned and they're between 70 and 100 years old that had a story to tell that thought that dressing up was good for the environment and just led a good balanced life. And that if you don't feel good and you get up in the morning and you get dressed and you dress up, that makes you feel better. And it that does. that's one of the things I think he was focusing on. He was. It's uh, it's mind, body and spirit. Now, Rodney, how did you get involved with all this? This is a unique thing for you to sponsor. Well, it's kind of interesting. I, I visit Blush on Main because I get my hair cut here. Yes. And I enjoy just kind of looking around at the different culture in here. And we were all sitting back there while I was getting a trim. And we started talking about what was going to be happening. And it's kind of goes with our mission, with yes. our business. Uh, we own Morgan and Nay Funeral Center and Haskell Morrison Funeral Home up in Vivi. And our mission is to help children and also to help the seasoned individuals in life. And this really went well with, with that. And, and then with uh, what we're going to contribute to, um, is close to my heart. And uh, that was kind of basically how we got involved. Oh, I think that's awesome. So it's not just an individual out um, promoting something. It's actually you're teaming up. We and are. you're helping the community and you're helping the women and now that's an interesting thing do only women come to this event or is it for men and it's for everybody i would say it is for uh individuals that are uh husbands and wives can come to this event girlfriends can come to this event uh you know good friends just people it's a, it's a very cultured event now when is the event exactly it is April the 16th. It occurs, uh, we have a ticket already printed up that are on sale at Blush on Main right, right. now and Morgan Nay, and uh, we are already at over 100 for ticket sales. So That's awesome. Yeah. It is. That's wonderful. Now, during the event, will Rodney be modeling anything? I plan to. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, there will be women from Madison there are. All of our models are women in our community that are uh, between the ages of 70 and 100 years old that have contributed a lot. They have good self-esteem. Right. They love to dress up. They care about you know the community and um, it's going to be a wonderful event. A, a wonderful event to see that these type of people live in our community. Uh, yes, it, that's, that's what's so neat about this. It's not from Chicago or Illinois, anywhere. It's actually here in Madison. Here in this Madison. is a, this is an event for us. This is an event for us, and this is something that the International Film Festival did, and it's something that uh, people have come together and supported. And it's they, actually they're even going to have a sequel for this event. But we were able to get a licensing permit from right. Bond 360 <laughs> and showcase this event as a as a documentary in Madison that you know a, a town of 13,000 people uh, this is something that is shown in New York and big cities but it's something that can happen in Manhattan or on the main street of Madison Indiana oh wow and you yeah. know we're, we're lucky here to have an event like this yes. in Madison to really showcase Madison um, and, and I'm excited that, that we're helping to promote that because it's about Madison we live here we work here and we enjoy Main Street. We enjoy the Hilltop. And we're lucky to have Mary Beth and Blush. <laughs> we're lucky to be here. We're lucky to have such support. 
Well, I think that's that's the important thing is that you have support from the community and that you're turning around and supporting the community at the same time. So it goes hand in hand. It does. It does. And, and again, about people who can attend this event, anybody can attend this event. Um, it's a very culture diverse event that will make, I, I think everybody that attends will feel better after they leave. Um, we all grow old. We resist change sometimes. Right. Um, but as far as feeling better about the way we dress, wanting to step out of our traditional box, it's all going to come together and we're going to see how it's done. We're going to see how New York does it and then we're going to see how Madison does it. So with that equilibrium, it's just going to be a success. That's something I think older women need to understand is once you reach 40, there's not a special dress for 40. You know, your kids think there is, but there's not. And when you reach 50, there's not a special dress. And I find this neat because I'm 57 now. And I don't dress like I'm 57. I don't intend on ever dressing like I'm 57. <laughs> but women need to know that it's okay to dress the way it makes you feel good, it makes you look nice, makes you energetic. And everybody has so. a different style, everybody has a different fashion, everybody has a different look. Yes. And, and how that makes them feel. And that's what we want to do. We want, we want people to step out of their everyday traditional box. And we want them to, if they have vintage wear that they want to put on and wear out for an evening or to sport when they go to the grocery store, it's okay. It's okay to not, you know, all the time be in a t-shirt. Um, but Madison or, you know, where you're traveling, you can put on a great outfit and you can do it simple. You can do it with a white crisp blouse and a, and a pair of denim you know slacks you can do it and just put a brooch or a piece of jewelry something to, to pop it up pop it out yeah oh wow now this event again is when this event is april the 16th um it's at old market on maine May. Yes, and it starts at 7 p.m. and it's a red carpet premiere event. So we encourage you to put on your best and to look dapper and just come out and support us and support your community. Um, support the, the businesses in Madison that are co-branding with one another and making our town more successful to be recognized for the town that it is. Now, Rodney, is there anything else we need to make sure people know? I think it's going to be really interesting to see who's going to be there, to see what they're going to be wearing, and see who might be escorting them. I think it's going to be a really fun time. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I can tell you that's uh, it's already on my calendar and ready to ready to make my appearance. <laughs> so, I think we should talk about. Uh, where the funds are going to go. Yes, I think I, that's a good idea. That is. To tell um, them. This is 100% a charitable event. It is um, all proceeds are going to the Boys and Girls Club and uh, with everybody knows the icon Ray Black so he represents <laughs> that that organization and the other the organization that uh, Rodney and I both kind of co-chaired last year um, got involved with the event um, is for the out of the darkness walk which is just a huge platform that needs to be supported and taken serious uh, with the schools with the community with all of us so it's very near and dear to my heart I know as well it is, as mine I know it is to Rodney seen a lot of sadness and, and you know now what exactly is that it's basically uh, talking about suicide and suicide yes. prevention and helping families that have experienced that and, and helping them walk through that time right? And, and bring them from the darkness to the light. Oh, wow. That's it's a it's a great. I, I, I did the walk last year and to see all those people together supporting the families and the mission and the cause was just beautiful. It was a wonderful experience and it was so enlightening that it was the first time uh, that it you know it's had the exposure in Madison but the city got behind it businesses right. got behind it but the community got behind it and that's what we're all in this to do is support our community well I think you're gonna get a lot of support for this I think this yeah. is gonna be a we good hope event. so we do. and we hope that more businesses will join together to sponsor events like this this and is what, what our, our city needs yes and that's what makes a community you know not one person can do everything that's right but if everybody gets together then you can accomplish a lot that's that right is, that is true very true so well 
Now you know about this wonderful event and there's the charities organizations that they're going to be donating the money to. So you need to mark this down in your calendar and make sure you make it out in your vintage clothing or in dress up however you'd like. This is Debbie Crawford with the Voices of Kentuckiana. Thanks for watching.